guys, welcome to my channel. Got my ice latte and I wanted to do my hair today, specifically tape and extensions. This isn't my first time doing my own tape and extensions. I've done them a handful of times in the past. I actually have a few videos on my channel if you guys want to check it out under my hair playlist. But today I'm going to be trying a new hair brand called Doris Hair. You can find them on Amazon or on their website, which I'll leave all the details down below. So thank you to Doris Hair for sending these over and collaborating on today's video. They do have other extension methods as well, like PUF extensions which look like this so if you want a more very temporary kind of like single day use type extensions they do sell clip-in extensions like this they have a seamless pu weft which are great for fine thin hair in my opinion or they have the classic weft they also have a weft extensions which i'll show you guys at the end because my box is sitting on my camera right now of the weft extensions that they sent over as well which i might use those in the future you can use it for the beaded weft method things like that so they do have a ton of different extension options I naturally have fine thin hair and ever so often I my fingers are like always itching to get extensions and I like tape and extensions because I can do them myself. I was going to have my sister help me with this but she's so busy so I'm like you know what it's Sunday I have some free time let me just do my extensions. It's going to be a little bit tricky today though because I usually have a mirror behind me but there's she has like no full length mirror. You're going to need a mirror in front of you so you can see what you're doing and then behind you so you can see the back of your head. It's definitely a lot more helpful if you have someone to help you but if you're able to see close up the back of your head and what you're doing then you should be able to do this yourself this is why i have this little mirror hanging here that's the only mirror that i have so we will see what happens but let me show you guys the tape extensions that i got the way that tape and extensions work is they're kind of sandwiched in between a section of your own hair a very small section of your own hair it's a type of adhesive that's holding everything together which you do need a special remover to remove them but this method lasts i would say about on average six weeks and then you remove them you can remove the old tape apply some new tape and reuse the extensions usually this method should be damage free so long as your hair is not really broken and cannot support the weight. You're getting them installed properly so it's not like tugging the wrong way. You're taking care of them when you have them on so you're not tugging at them as you're brushing them because that's just extra tension. And then also removal is a big thing. When you're removing them, you wanna make sure that you're removing them properly as well. I personally have had success with them, which is why I keep doing it, but I do want to try the wefts, a certain weft method in the future. Today we're just going to be focusing on tape and extensions. They ended up sending me two different colors in 16 inch because my hair right now is like a few different shades of blonde. I have some cool blonde in the front here, kind of on the cooler side, and then in the back here I have more warm toned and underneath. It's more of like a dirty warm toned blonde. So I'm going to be mixing two different colors. Each box of extensions is going to have the instruction pamphlet as well as extra tape for if you want to reuse them once you remove them. And then the extensions come in a packet like this. Very affordable as well. This is why I love this method. So the first shade that I got, again, these are in 16 inches, is P18A uh, slash 613A. And this one's more of the cool toned blonde. So this is what it looks like. Again, it might look different depending on the lighting and things like that, but very silky smooth. And this is the 16 inch length. And the next shade that I got is P17A slash 68. Actually, just kidding. This one was the ashy blonde one. You can see that it has like ashy blonde highlights. And then this one has the same blonde, but this one has warmer toned highlights. So I think I'm gonna mix these two i might not use both packs because again i have naturally fine thin hair so i don't want to weigh my hair down it is going to be a lot of weight on my my hair personally other things that i'm going to be using is a rat tail comb to help separate the hair i got these clips here to hold the hair if anything and then also i recently got these right here so this is going to help they're hair grippers, they're kind of like Velcro hair, hair grippers, and they help to keep the hair out of the way. When you part the hair, it is very important that you don't have random hair pieces uh, kind of getting in the way because once you sandwich it together, you want to have a nice clean part. You don't want any hair kind of zigzagging or stuck in there because when you're going to be brushing it out, it, it just might not be good. It might be extra unnecessary tension. So you wanna make sure that any hair that's not supposed to be there is out of the way. So I got these to help with that. And if you are going to be doing this yourself, then I highly recommend here having a mirror in front of you and then a mirror behind you. You want both of those mirrors to be pretty close. I usually have my mirrors a lot closer than this, 
but again there's no setup here that will allow me to do that so i have the vanity mirror here and then this mirror right there how i personally place the tape ends in my hair it will vary depending on your hair length do you want volume do you want length do you want volume and length if you have fine thin hair like i do and your hair is short then i would recommend doing maybe two to three rows and then a few in the front there are really great videos online but what i like to do is follow the two to three finger rule so from the hairline you want to keep at least two to three finger widths before you place a tape so let's say i'm going to be placing one here you don't want it right near the hairline you want to place it at least two to three finger lengths distance away and this also applies your first row that you're going to be doing from the bottom wherever you're going to make that first part make sure you have a two to three finger width from there so do not make your row like way 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 here at the bottom especially if you're going to be putting your hair up because you are going to see the tape so that's just kind of like a general rule that i follow so i'm going to start off with my first row and this one again i'm going to do at the bottom in a bit of a u shape so what i usually do is i'll take my fingers around my ears and kind of do a u shape going down and again you want to make sure that you have about two to three finger widths away from the hairline the nape of your neck like so. Forgot my big clips, so I'm gonna use these little ones. I'm gonna use one on one side and one on the other, but I'm gonna pin that hair out of the way. And you wanna go ahead and create a very clean part. So what I'm gonna work on now, while looking in that back mirror, I'm gonna work on creating a symmetrical U-shaped part like this in the back. The lighting in that direction is absolutely awful, but I went ahead and made a clean part by using the mirror behind me, kind of like this. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab my hair gripper and I'm gonna go ahead and grip this hair out of the way. So it's not bothering me when I'm working, none of it falls down. For the bottom section, I'm gonna start off with the warmer toned ones and not the ashier ones. So this is what it looks like, just one, before I go ahead and sandwich it together. I'm gonna go ahead and peel off the backing. To reveal the sticky tape this is the adhesive that's going to stick to your natural hair and because i'm doing this myself my technique is a little bit different i'm going to start off in the middle right here and i'm going to mark, work my way to the outside and keep in mind the two finger rule you don't want to get close to the hairline so i'm going to stop when it's kind of like right here because when i'm going to be pulling my hair back i want to have at least two to three finger widths there so i think i'm going to do one in the middle and then one more on each side, so three total. So I'm gonna start off with this one and place it right in the middle. And I did wanna mention when you're placing it, you don't want it too close to your scalp. It's gonna be tugging on the hair, it's gonna be uncomfortable. It's gonna cause, I think it's called like hair pimples, which is sometimes I would get when I would get them done. It's just not comfortable for me. So I personally like to place it like a few millimeters away or centimeters away from the hairline. All right, press it down. And then you're going to take that section and lift it up and as you lift it up hair is automatically going to stick to that sticky side so you want to go ahead and grab that hair and then make sure you have a clean part here as well and then pin that hair up now grab your second section peel off the backing to reveal the sticky side and this one you're going to place upside down and you're literally going to sandwich it right on top you want to make sure the corners align all of that press it down sandwich them together and then you can go ahead and unclip it if you want and then go like this to make sure that it is not too tight you will be able to feel it if it's too tight it's essentially the technique that i use to do my own tape and extensions so again you're going to take one of the pieces remove the backing you stick it on you always want to make sure you have a clean part so this was part number one and i'll show you guys when i do my second part and then the sides as well you want to go ahead and place this a few millimeters away from the hairline kind of smush it onto the hair and then as you lift it up your own hair is naturally going to stick to this adhesive you want to go ahead and pin that up with your natural hair and then make sure you have a clean part there as well you don't want like zigzags anything like that and then take your second section, take off your adhesive. This one you're gonna hold upside down and you're gonna sandwich it right on top. You wanna make sure the corners align and all of that and kind of like press them together and then you can let it go and you're gonna have a sandwich of tape ins. And that's essentially how tape ins work. So let me do the rest of this section here.
guys I didn't hit record for that third row. Oh my gosh, show you guys the third row right here. So the first two rows I have three sandwiches and then in the third row I have four sandwiches since that is a longer section there kind of going all the way across. And I think I'm happy with three rows in the back. Let's work on these side sections here. Obviously these side sections need some work. They kind of have curtain bangs going on. So I don't have a lot of hair here to begin with. Plus I have a lot of shorter hairs. So I'm gonna keep about three fingers width from the hairline. I think I'm gonna do one sandwich here and then I think two here. So like one, two, and do the same thing on the other side. I made my part. I'm gonna place one right here. It's actually gonna be two finger widths away from the hairline, but I'm gonna grab my other color I'm gonna use this for the front pieces because this is where I have the most bright blonde. I have a tape here, so I'm gonna place this one right there. And again, I'm gonna angle it a little bit, press it down, lift it up. And when you lift it up, you can see your hair naturally attaches to the adhesive, sticks to the adhesive. So lift it up. And then when you lift it up on the underside, make sure that you have a clean part there as well. So don't. You don't want any zigzagging going on. Now grab the other side of your sandwich, take off the backing, and you're gonna place this upside down and try to align it as best as you can, right on top. Sandwich it right on top, press it down, let go of that, oh, that was actually the wrong one. <laughs> let go of that pin. Okay guys, here is the end result with the tapins finally in. I curled them a little. I think they look absolutely beautiful. I'm really happy with the result. The color blend and the color match is amazing in my opinion. I used a whole pack of the, I think it's the 68 and then I used half a pack of the other one for the sides, almost half a pack. Let me show the back as well. This is what the back looks like. Right now the extensions are super duper silky soft. Once you wash them, and the more you wash them, the more they get like that lived in feeling. But I would recommend taking care of it. So in the shower, you wanna make sure that you're using a conditioner, and then when you get out of the shower, you wanna use a leave-in conditioner and a hair oil on the ends because this hair is not coming out of your own scalp, it's hair extensions. You wanna make sure that you're keeping it hydrated so that you get the most out of your hair extensions. And then also when you're brushing it, be careful. What I like to do is I kind of hold the hair down and then starting from the bottom, gently brush if you have any knots or anything like that because you don't want to be tugging and pulling. And then when you're sleeping, I personally like to kind of do a low ponytail. And this just helps from the hair being all over the place when you're sleeping and getting nappy or anything like that. And I'll also leave an update in the description box how the hair holds up over time. But on Amazon, you can get it. I think it's $45 or so for a pack. So I had two packs. That was $90. They gave me a coupon code and then Amazon sometimes has coupon codes as well. So very, very affordable and the hair quality seems really nice. Again, I'll keep you guys updated in the description box. But yeah, I'm really happy with the results. I just love doing tape and extensions. Number one, because I can do them myself even though it seems like it takes forever and you need a lot of patience. And then number two, because it gives me length and volume that I otherwise would not have. And I don't have to worry about taking them in, taking them out. I just leave them in for about six weeks and it's almost like my own hair. If you want more of a temporary method, then they do have clip-ins, like I said. They have the seamless ones. They also have the wefts that I talked about if you wanted to do like a sew-in weft method, like the beaded sew-in weft. So they sent me these, which I might try in the future. This is what the weft looks like. So when you buy a weft, this is what you're gonna get when you purchase those. And these are meant to be applied professionally. So you go to the salon and whoever specializes in beaded wefts or sew-in wefts, whatever they're gonna be doing, whatever method you choose, you can bring these in and they'll apply these for you. The sew-in method is definitely more seamless compared to tape-ins. So if you wear your hair up a lot, like let's say you put it up in a bun, if you wear a ponytail, it's not a big deal. Let me show you guys what it would look like if you had a ponytail. You can't really see anything if you have a ponytail, but if you were to wear your hair up in a bun, it's definitely a lot harder to conceal tapes than what it would look like. Again, you wanna make sure you're following like the two to three finger rule so that it's not too close to the hairline, especially if you're gonna be pulling your hair back. But that kind of concludes my video. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me as I kind of showed how I installed my tape and extensions. Again, I have a few others if you guys are interested, but today I wanted to focus on this new hair brand. I'm so 
happy with how they came out. I'll leave all the details down below, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in future videos.